Hi everyone, my name is Anthony Bergevin and I'm going to be taking you through this math cast and teaching you how to create simple equivalent fractions using visuals like pictures and number lines. So let's get started. First, let's bust out some review. Let's start with how to multiply and divide whole numbers. Let's use the number 2, the one you probably all know by now. And so we're going to want to create a multiplication table which goes 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, so on and so forth. It could go on forever. But let's really break it down. 2 times 2 equals 4. And you know why that is? It's 2 plus 2 equals 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. And that's because 4 plus 4 equals 8. 8 times 2 equals 16, because you guessed it, 8 plus 8 equals 16. But let's move on to division. You can take any two numbers from that multiplication table. I took 16 and 4 and got 4. That is because there are 4 4s in 16, if that makes any sense. So if you take 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, you'll get 16. Let's move on to a different one, 8 divided by 2, which is also 4. That is because there are 4 2s in 8. So 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 8. Moving on, what is a fraction? A fraction is when a whole number is separated in an x number of equal pieces. That x is a variable. A variable is um, something that shows a whole number or any sorts of number. But in this case, it's always a whole number in a fraction. So each piece is one x of the whole. So in an example, when the whole is four, the whole is made up of four equal sized pieces, each piece equaling one fourth. Now let's work on adding fractions. When you're adding fractions, you'll only find the sum of the numerators. The denominators will remain the same. In example, 1 third plus 1 third equals 2 thirds. So if you catch the drift, you can do any number. You can do 1 6 plus 1 6, which is 2 6. Let's move on to multiplying fractions. When you're multiplying fractions, you multiply everything, the numerator and the denominator. So 1 third times 2 is 2 6. Let's turn that example from what is a fraction into a picture. So from the example, there are four equal sized parts in the whole. The whole, which is this guy right here, is your base unit, the, the standard of what you're doing. That does not change no matter what you change the fraction. The whole is always the same. So in this case, I broke it up into four equal sized pieces like I said I was going to, which is right here. One, two, three, and four. When you put that in our definition of fraction, the whole is separated into four equal sized pieces, each piece equaling one fourth of the whole, as seen by the arrows I just pointed out. This picture signifies three fourths. There are four equal pieces in the square. This square is the unit square I took from the other slide. I shaded in three parts of the square to signify three fourths. Each little square is one fourth. So let me write this down for you. The first square right here is equal to one over four. The second square right here is equal to two over four. The third square I shaded in right here is equal to three over four, which is the number we're looking for. In our definition of a fraction, the whole consists of four equal sized pieces, each piece equaling one fourth. And in the picture, three of the four equal pieces are shaded. So one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth equals three fourths, because remember, when you're adding fractions, you only add the numerators, not the denominators. Let's move on from the pictures to the number line. The big lines on the number line represent our whole numbers. What we really want to get into are the little lines, which are our fractions. As you can see here, I labeled them as 1 fourth, 2 fourths, and 3 fourths. This is going to be our example. Let's put this in our definition of a fraction. For this example, we broke it up into fourths. So, in between each whole number, there are going to be four equal pieces, indicated by each arrow. So, here is 1, here is 2, here is 3, and here is 4. Those equal pieces added together add one whole, which signifies the move from 0 to 1. Can fractions have bigger numbers and equal the same thing? That may sound confusing, but yes, they can. Multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the same whole number creates a fraction that looks larger than the former fraction, but equals the same thing. That doesn't make sense. I'll explain a little bit right now. So take your original fraction, 2 fourths, 
And you multiply that by 2, so you multiply the numerator by 2, which gives you 4. Multiply the denominator by 2, which gives you 8. That will give you 4 eighths. Let's put that in a picture so it looks a little bit better. As a picture, I have separated two of the holes into fourths and one into eighths, and I shaded in each section. So if you look at the pictures, the two fourths shades in about half, and so does the four eighths. So basically they're the same thing, just the numbers are different. Just because you doubled the size of the fraction does not mean you doubled the size of the whole. Remember when I taught you guys about multiplying fractions? This will help you see that two points on a number line are equal, even though they're different fractions. Let's take the one fourth for example. If you multiply one fourth by two, you'll get two eighths. Two fourths by two, you get four eighths, which shows that the two points are equal. Take about a minute or two, fill out this hole as the way I've shown in the examples before. Here are my answers to two previously asked questions. Number one, fill out the hole to show one third and two sixths. So over on your left, you have your thirds, and over on your right, you have your sixth. Both are in the same hole. Because remember, you cannot change the size of the hole, just the size of the fractions inside them. So let me describe that to you again. So you take this, which is one third, and then you have these, which are both one sixth. So, one third is equal to two of these one sixths. Because remember when I taught you about multiplying fractions, you, you can take the number and multiply it by two. So let's take one third, multiply that by two, and that'll give you two sixths. And you can see this in the picture, because one shaded bar in the thirds is one third. And there are two shaded squares in the right hand picture indicating two six and they're both about the equal size moving on to number two explain how fractions two fourths and four eighths are equivalent without cheating draw a number line to prove your statement i got the cheat because they're my number lines but from the previous slide you take the numbers from one fourth and you multiply them like i did the previous question so you take one fourth, multiply that by two, you get two eighths. You take two fourths, multiply that by two, and you get four eighths. So two fourths and four eighths are equivalent because once you multiply two fourths by two, you'll get four eighths.